Hey, what's up guys? It's time to tell you about 10 cool things that you can do with Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. So I've got Note 9 right here and let's get started. Now the first feature that I want to talk about is this camera cut out here. So if we go in settings and the screen is all white, you can clearly see the camera cut out. Now if you don't like this camera cut out, you can actually hide it. So for that, you'll actually have to go in display and then go in notch and status bar, go in hide notch. And by default, out of the box, don't hide is selected, but you can go ahead and select this option, hide without moving status bar. Now, if you do that, top part of the screen will be turned black and you will have the status bar there, but most importantly, it will hide the camera cutout. Now, there is another option here, hide and move status bar. If you select this one, the top part is still blacked out and hide the camera cutout, but now the status bar has been shifted even below that and that reduces your screen size and that is exactly the reason why i do not prefer this third option i would rather go with hide without moving the status bar so the camera cutout is all blacked out and you have the status bar in that black portion and it does not reduce your screen size too much now moving on to the next feature you can also use dual apps on this phone it is one of my favorite features so for that you need to go in settings and this is actually the feature that allows you to use two copies of the same app like Facebook and WhatsApp. So uh, it's really cool. And in settings, look for apps, go in apps and here you will find dual apps. Go in here and all the apps installed on your phone and support this feature will be available here. So we have Facebook right now. We have WhatsApp here as well. So if I turn on WhatsApp and go back. I will now see two copies of WhatsApp, which I can use with two separate accounts. Next up, you can also get rid of these navigation buttons and instead opt for the full screen display. For that, you need to go once again in settings and in settings, look for additional settings. In here, you will see this option full screen display. Go in here and here you will find these two options, buttons and then full screen gestures. So if you select this one, you can then learn about this a bit more if you press learn. Now I will show you exactly uh, what gesture will do what. So if I swipe up, it will take me back to the home screen. If I swipe up and hold, it will go back to the recents menu. If I swipe from the left edge, it will go one step back. If I swipe from the right edge, it will go one step back. So there you go. Very easy. It gets rid of the navigation buttons. It gives you a full screen. So just in case if you decide to hide the camera cutout with this black bar at the top, you can then get rid of these navigation buttons to you know get back your screen size to full functionality. One more thing here is that if you turn on this feature, go back to the previous app, you can then swipe from the left edge and then hold to go back to the previous app as well. Moving on, you can assign different shortcuts to these navigation buttons as well as these buttons on the side. For that, we need to go in settings and once again, go in additional settings and here you will see this option button shortcuts. Go in here and here you will see all these different shortcuts. Launch camera, take a screenshot, launch Google Assistant, turn off screen, turn on torch and in front of them, you will see different buttons. So now let's say I want to assign long press the back button, this shortcut, close grunt app. I'll just tap here and then I will select long press the back button and I will replace it. Now, if I long press the back button, this app will force close. Similarly, I have here assigned double press the power button to launch camera because that's what I'm used to on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and then three fingers down to take a screenshot and then long press the home button to launch Google Assistant, so on and so forth. So you can assign different shortcuts to different buttons on your phone, which is really cool. Next feature that I want to talk about is called quick ball. Again, go in settings, go in additional settings and here you will see quick ball. Now what this does is that it puts these uh, specific shortcuts at the press of your thumb. So if I turn this feature on, it will produce this quick ball. And if we tap it, we have different functions here. So we have home button, recents button, back button, and this will turn off the screen. And then we have screenshot button. Now we can also swipe it to get it out of the way and then move the cursor up and down, right or left as well. Then you can also select the shortcuts and you can switch their order as well. And you can also play around with different settings. So you can select hide automatically, move aside when full screen, stick to the edge after three seconds of inactivity, show on lock screen. What this actually does is that it puts the ease of navigation just around your thumb so you can get rid of these navigation buttons and just use this quick ball 
for navigation and then in that way you will have access to the buttons as well as the gestures on your screen. Moving on we also have one handed mode on this phone. Now because the screen is too big and large and wide it is not always possible to use uh, this phone with one hand and for that we have one handed mode. For that we need to go in settings, go in additional settings and here you will find one handed mode. Go in here, turn this on and then you can swipe from the center of the navigation menu to the right or left. So if you swipe to the right, it will go to the right and if you swipe to the left, it will go to the left. Now what else you can do is you can change the screen size. So that was 4.5 inches, you can go 4 inches or you can go 3.5 inches. Moving on, we also have game turbo option on this phone and this is for the gamers who like to game a lot. So we need to go in settings and then look for special features. If we go in here, go in game turbo and then all the games in your phone will be available here. You can add them manually as well. So go in settings and then turn on game turbo. Now once you turn it on, you will get in game shortcuts, which I will show you uh, in a minute. You can uh, change the home screen orientation, home screen shortcut. You can set up a performance mode, performance optimization, memory exceptions. And then uh, while playing the game, you can select the option to answer calls hands-free, enhance experience, restrict buttons and gestures so they will not interrupt with your gameplay. And then we have additional settings for each game separately. So you can go in these additional settings, you can change the touch response sensitivity to repeated taps. Now if we go back and launch a game, you will then see that the game has been boosted by Game Turbo. And once we are in here, you can then swipe down from here to see all these different shortcuts. So you can start the screen recording, you can take a screenshot, you can uh, tap on this one here and it will clear up the background memory for you and will optimize your gaming experience. So you can do all that while playing these games. And then you can launch these different apps in floating windows. So if I tap on WhatsApp, WhatsApp will, uh, you know, pop up here as a floating window and you can see your chats and even reply to your uh, messages. Next up, just like we have secure folder on Samsung, we have second space option on Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. So for that, we need to go in settings and then go back in special features and in here you will see this option called second space now you can go in here so you can turn on second space and it will create a second space for you on the phone so two spaces one device so in one device you can use two profiles one hidden and then one your main profile continue so you can uh, set it up using a password or using a shortcut. Let's go with shortcut, continue. And then second space password. We can skip it right now. And there we go, we have a second space. And if I tap on this switch shortcut, it will take me back to my primary space. And we go back to my primary space. So there you go and then you can see the switch button here to go into your second space. So that's something and then you can obviously secure it with a password and a fingerprint scanner and every time you will switch you will have to use your fingerprint to unlock your second space. Moving on we also have the option to screen record on this phone which is built into the software and we don't have to do anything we don't have to download a third party screen recorder from the play store and there we go in the notification shortcuts screen recorder. If you tap on it, it will start recording and you will see this floating uh, button here which you can move around and it will show you how many seconds or minutes have been recorded and after a while it just fades away in the background. You can tap on it and then stop the recording. Now what you can do is you can long press on the screen recorder and go in settings. And here you can actually change the resolution of your screen recording and then we have video quality so you can go from 1 mbps all the way to 20 you can change the orientation or keep it auto you can change the sound source so whether you want to record the system sounds or your own sound via the mic 
and then fix frame rate frame rate lock screen to end so whenever you will lock the screen the screen recording will end automatically and finally we have split screen multi window option on this phone as well and for that we need to go in recents and on the top left you will see this option split screen tap on it and then you can launch any of these apps in split screen or multi window so what you have to do is you have to tap and drag it up and then you can launch the second app down here so that doesn't support it let's go and try again there you go and whatsapp so there you go now you can use two apps side by side you can resize them as well so hopefully guys you have learned something from this video and if you have give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing to the channel and while you're at it hit that bell icon for future video updates i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye